Good evening, listeners, once again. I'm your host, Nana Yayabua, and you tune in to Literary Voices. And our next guest tonight is... Ghana's number one blogger, Bumiti Mame. Hey! Ah! I saw the brie. Ghana's number one blogger. Wow. Well, like I, 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 we were discussing, I know there were bloggers, but I didn't know we had the Ghana's number one blogger in um in toronto canada so i am humbled that you accepted the invitation to come on literary voices and uh literary voices is really about the stories we tell and as a blogger i know distinctively you put stories together and give us the stories so before we start everything we we just need to know a little bit about you who are you or do you want me to read from? I mean, yeah, you could definitely read from. Um, I, I love people to actually hear, hear who you you okay. you are. Yes. Okay, so yeah, let's start. Just to let everybody know out there, yes, my name is Ghana's number one blogger, but that's just an extension of me. My actual name is Gio Marfo, born to Ghanaian parents within Toronto. And my blogging journey started about 11, 12 years ago Mm -hmm. to what you can see now. I'm Ghanaian. I'm from the Ashanti cultural background in Ghana. Hey, we are Santini. I am Yasantini. I am some Ketua. (laughs) Okay. Okay. So I'll read a little bit about your um, bio, which is uh, Gio Marfo is the founder of Ghana Number One Blogger media yes. toronto born Ghanaian blogger slash journalist and uh as he's already said he's been in the crowd for over 10 years and he's affectionately known as Ghana's number one blogger and has quite a, a lot of following worldwide mr marfo has just been recently honored with the 2019 Ghanaian canadian journalist of the year award by the Ghanaian Canadian by the Ghanaian Canadian Achievement Awards. So here he is with us tonight. Yes, live in the flesh. You are in my hot seat. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling? Hey, it's part of the business. You are not in the seat, you are in that seat. I'm in that seat. Yes. So it's definitely different, but you know what it is? This is where it's going to let people see who I am from this side versus, you know, being me the interviewer. Yes. So, you know, it's it's special, I would definitely say. So, I honor, I definitely, this is an honor being on your show of Literary Voices. And thank you for saying yes to come on. So, with the blog media um, 10 plus years ago, what was the inspiration behind that? My inspiration, first of all, actually, I started before there was something even called blogging. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know what I was doing. What I figured was it was more of a situation of, hey, you know what? My love and passion is for Ghana football and mm-hmm. also Ghana itself. Because I used to be a football player, American football. Okay. And what ended up happening is after my college career, mm-hmm. I didn't even get to have much of a college career. I got injured. Oh. So I needed something different. Yes. So I said, hey, you know what? Ghana is definitely the wave. Mm-hmm. Ghana is doing something big in terms of football. So I said, you know what? How about I give something yes. to the people, not just Ghanaians, on Ghana football, so to give them a beautiful slice of life Okay. from Ghana's uh, point of view. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. Now, that's a story I love from the Ghanaian point of view. And we say in, uh, football, but uh, we say football, but to the rest of the world or some parts of the world, it's soccer. Soccer. Yes, and the uh, Ghanaians, just like most Africans, we love our soccer. Beautiful. So, you were doing the soccer till recently. Um, actually, I still do the soccer, but what I realized is I needed to expand. Okay. And I said, you know what? Now it's time to go 
onto the side of okay you know what now it's time to bring in the music to mm-hmm. bring in the culture to mm-hmm. bring in the flavor and mm-hmm. especially with the um the new beginnings of afro beats yes that's when i said hmm, you know what i've showed the world football but now it's time to show the world the music mm-hmm. and everything else that is beautiful about this ghanaian culture mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or sorry various cultures in ghana because Let's not get it twisted. People think Ghana is one culture, but it's many cultures under one roof. Just that's like how true. Toronto is. That's true. That's true. So you got into the music and the entertainment uh, scene. So what you do, correct me if I'm wrong or uh, you can expand on it more, is curating the, the Afrobeats and the music from Ghana and Africa and giving it back to the world. It, it, does it work like that? Yes, it does. But the thing is, with me, it goes even deeper because I don't just like to talk about the music. I like to go behind the scenes and mm-hmm. actually give you that connection between you, the person, and the creative themselves. Okay. So whether it may be music, comedy, and all that stuff, but music is definitely a base that I notice unites everybody around the world, especially yes. with Ghana music. They'll mm-hmm. be like, bro. Mm -hmm. But my take on that is I find it very, I would say, removing. Because Mm -hmm. I remember back in the days when somebody hit in Ghana and then they decided to go around the world, they never really made their way to Toronto. Mm -hmm. But now I'm seeing a something called like a paradigm shift, so to speak, where it's like you have guys like Fami yes are coming over you have somebody like sister fia yes she needs a kwami eugene yes and you know the elder statesman samini even coming yeah. across <coughs> yes nothing against samini <laughs> no i'm just paying homage to him when i say elderly <laughs> statesman some people may get it you know no. cut off wrong right but no, th- that's not even the reason why I was um, I-, I was laughing. I I had that because of his recent um, how do you call it? His recent it, song, it yes, song. his recent song, um, mm. which is Grand Granddada, Reggae Granddada or something. Grand Dada. I- yes, yeah. it, it, that's it, right? Mm. Or Raga Granddada. I'm not. I'm not too sure of which which one which one it, it is. But um, when when I find it, we'll play. We'll play that and inter- interject and honor the um, the the uh, as you said the elder statesman who has um, moved within the industry and also got it um, from Batman to Samini. Let's not forget. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can get. I want to play this song. I want to. Is this on his uh, most recent album, uh, Untamed? Yes, yes, okay, yes, 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 it yes, is. Yes. So I believe this is it. Yes. Raga Dada. Raga Dada. Ani. Shout out to the spot check. I, I, I think they, they're moving they, they're moving the um, the music these these days quite a bit I think it's playing in the background they're moving the music um, these days um, quite a bit I was watching one of the old Batman um, movie um, I said movies music videos and I was looking at him then and him now and it's been really a transformation from from then to but now. It seems like he's like a, a collage of somebody that refuses to grow. <laughs> him and uh, what's his name? Uh, the grandpapa of hip life, Reggie, uh, Reggie Rockstone. Rockstone. Yes, yes, yes. Reggie Rockstone also is refusing to grow. I think we're growing past them. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, so blogging. If somebody talks about blogging, what is blogging? What is blogging? Yes. I would definitely say blogging is an art. Mm -hmm. Blogging is a craft. Mm -hmm. Blogging is something that is a talent Mm -hmm. that nobody, I wouldn't say nobody has, but it has to be something that comes to you naturally. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you have to, 
zero in on a specific topic mm -hmm. because when you zero in on a specific topic mm -hmm. that is when you unearth the um, the aspect of passion okay yourself. okay so can somebody do blogging full-time and earn money out of it or a living yes most definitely mm -hmm. you gotta look at it from the standpoint of where the avenues are you're hitting yes. you have to look at it from a standpoint of what can i monetize yes what can i do in order for me to um get out to the world but also mm -hmm. um get back from it at the same time mm -hmm. so i would definitely say yes there are avenues mm -hmm. the avenues are there blogging is actually definitely there to actually get your name out yes but also you have to look at certain aspects mm -hmm. like let's just say something like you know representing artists yes or even if it's going to um, actual events mm -hmm. and also getting paid and flown out to events all over the world as a blogger yes as a blogger so this oh, wow so all this is also dependent on the people who follow you or uh, how does it work i wouldn't necessarily say it's dependent on the people that follow you it's just necessarily on you working on your craft as hard as you are mm -hmm. the thing is you have to put your face out there yes but most importantly you have to put your work out there yes to allow people to obviously number one follow you yes but also it's just like any other business mm -hmm. you have to put it out there you have to have your business plan mm -hmm. in order to go forward mm -hmm. in order for somebody to be like okay you know what this definitely this type of work this person is doing i yes. definitely need to pay them for what they're doing I because hope. remember there can be so many bloggers out there but yes. there's different levels to yes how people blog yes yes the, the reason why i asked that question was because there was this gentleman paris is it paris hilton or oh perez hilton perez sorry i know i'm not supposed to give that face, but yeah, that's... yes so that that was why i was asking um that question as to what it entails and whatnot because sometimes the the version of bloggers we see out there is different than you know what others are doing as bloggers yes to be brutally honest what perez hilton does he's more somebody that is like a gossip column type of person so what we translate it those type of people in ghana you see you see or mm -hmm. mr and mrs Kong Kong San, yes those people they make it they blow because people like this gossip. they're fascinated yes. by gossip they're fascinated by um this sensationalization of mm -hmm. things because mm -hmm. somebody like me i've been in it in 11 years and i've only got a recognition now simply because what i realized is people like to hear what i have to say yes. but the thing is i'm not somebody that's controversial yes. and somebody that's not controversial they they're don't kind of put them to the side yes but as you as a person that's not controversial you have to find a way to get yourself out to the masses mm -hmm. first things first you respect yourself but you also respect the content that you're putting out there okay okay wow so let's talk about this award that you received that was given to you by the um Ghanaian Canadian Achievement Award in the group. So basically with that, like first things and foremost, I want to give a shout out to the Ghanaian Canadian Achievement Awards for honoring me with such a prestigious honor. Yes. But first things first, I remember getting an email and I thought it was a joke. Like I thought it was like some kind of April Fool joke. Like, I'm getting an award <laughs> like I've been in this thing for eleven years. <laughs> Nobody has messaged me, mm -hmm. or nobody has even, you know, no. like, like, let's just say, mm -hmm. these areas of achievement and honor. Mm -hmm. Everybody has ever reached out to me. Yeah. So when I see them, the first thing that came to my mind yeah. was, as many Ghanians with their communities, I see what they're saying. Somebody asked me why Ghanians like to say, ah. Well, there you go. Because of the element of shock. Yes. Like, like let's just say these mm -hmm. areas of achievement that honor me, like, which has a very so when I seen it, so the first thing that, 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 that came to my mind was yes. that any Ghanaian would, when they're confused, I was like, ah, what is this? My <laughs> Ghanaians like to say, ah. Well, there you go. 
because of the element of shock. Yes. So when I seen it, I said, you know what? This doesn't this doesn't seem true. First of being like some kind of way of being. So when I seen that, I said, I called them. Yes. Yeah. And like, are you sure you're honored? Like, yeah, it's true. It's you. Yes. We want to honor you for your many years of service and your versatility. And I said, okay, well, this is this is impressive. Like, finally, I'm being recognized. First and foremost, I never wanted to be somebody that wanted to be recognized for my. We want to see who. I think the reason why I was being, I'm being. I'm always okay. I was always accustomed to let your work speak for itself and don't show your face. But then I realized the type of culture we are, you want to see who is hand. So also came in. Okay, man. Okay. So therefore when that happened. Well, when I decided, okay, you know what, within my 11th year, I need to show my face. That is when people said, okay, you know what, now it's time to respect the brand he has. And maybe it's time to give him the accolades he deserves. Okay. You know, so it was definitely like, when that grew, I was truly honored. I was just like, wow. like, And I was actually about to retire. Because I, yes. Because what happened was, I went back to school. Okay. So I studied massage therapy. So as soon as I finished massage therapy, I said, yo, this blogging thing you know, will help me. You know but then I realized I it's not about me. No, you but it's definitely about the people. cannot stop. And remember, because I'm putting Ghana if not, on the stage I would like everybody I, yeah, else. Exactly. So have that name Ghana's number one blog, you. mind you, I didn't give it to myself. Somebody gave it to me. And, I said, and it's, it's you funny know what? How I can't we, stop. Um, no, you definitely you tell cannot stop because if funny not, how would I um, with how have met, Phil Joe met you? Most definitely. Nana Yaya, and, and, and it's, it's funny how we, um, um, we, we met. You tell the story. It was funny enough. The story with how I actually with met Phil Joe multimedia. Let's get that straight. Nana Yaya, Nana Yaya, boy. Um, I believe it was so at Ghana Fest this year, but she did what it was because <laughs> and you know, I'm on the social media scene, and my face is there, like, but it's not there. You have to really kind of look into it. So I actually took a video from behind, I believe, of her dancing, and I posted it. And then she was like, oh, that's you? Next time you see me, make sure you say hi. And then funny enough, I've been doing my research on her a long time. And it turns out and that I, appreciate I went to you school with her younger video. sister. That's right. And I said, wow. That, that, that <laughs> shows that small, that that's very, very small. somebody's watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I appreciate you that. taking that I'm definitely video. Somebody that watches that, 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 that shows that yeah. everything that, that was one kind of somebody's first that watch. Time. Oh, yes, yeah, exactly. Well, and so I'm definitely I somebody that watches from the shadows. That was one kind of first that time. Chill and have fun. And I think D-Flex was playing. Chill. Chill and have fun, have fun and uh, I, I think um, beautiful. Deflect Thank you for recountering mm -hmm. that uh, uh, engagement. Beautiful. Thank you for recountering that uh, of human connection and uh, right? communication. That, 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 that is the beauty key of it. In maintaining of relationships and, uh, and building, forging relationships up in into the future. So presently, I see some of your blogs and whatnot, and it does cover a whole breadth. Not only Ghana, it does cover a whole breadth of issues that are going on in the world. Is there a particular way of you saying, okay, I want to pull this and put it here, I want to share this? A message here, or what, to share or what, what message is a mental or process or like for you to decide that this is what you are going to post? Well, with me, I've kind of developed a mental process over the years, and I kind of take it a week at a time. Whereas I realize the world, if you just put issues that are definitely going to hit people on a regular basis, it's going to get into, it's going to get to the point where people don't want to hear you. You have to add some fun to it. You have to make people, you have to make people see that you're also jovial. Yes. So, so what, how I try, I try to do it is, is if I'm going to post anything that is serious, that's serious important, that's sometimes I have to wait. Have to wait. Mm -hmm. And then add and then the add music the and the cultural aspect cultural of energy, yes. you know, fun, you know, in order fun, for in people order to take in my message. Because people message. will never people ever take in a message if there's not, you know, this kind of, you know, Ice cream added to it. Like it's like, you know, it's too serious. It doesn't go down too well. Okay. 
it's like you have to add a little bit of okra so it it's smooths down uh-huh. well that's for those who like okra yeah for those who okay like okra. so if it's not okra you know it's ice cream yes mm-hmm. or if not you know tampico everybody Tam- loves tampico <laughs> or fine yogurt but that that one beautiful so what does the future look like for Ghana's number one um blog media that is a, a blogger. beautiful question that you asked funny enough actually there are many things on the table for 2020 as we speak right now yes. and i'm just more in the planning process mm-hmm. things are already set in place yes but remember if you fail to plan you plan to fail exactly so the thing is i want to make sure that everything mm-hmm. is done in a sense from the um planning phase mm-hmm. so that 2020 you, you can would definitely see ghana's number one blogger media everywhere wow yes say baby yeah <laughs> pepper them 2020 empress hey yes say baby yeah pepper them 2020 mm-hmm. i, I it's like next year is coming with its own positive, you know, um, spirit and from the entertainers in the field and from you as well, I can feel the positivity that 2020 is going to be a good year. Most and definitely. We, we will catch up in 2020 oh, sure. and see how sure. well or how far it's gone. I'm excited. I'm so, excited for the journey. I think I, I'm curious to know the, the blogging journey. It's not, is it only in Toronto, Canada, or you also go to Ghana to get the job done? Funny enough, a lot of people don't know this because a lot of people need to see that this whole Instagram Christmas in Ghana, yes. this is just a social media wave thing. Let's just get it straight. The year of the return. The year of return. Yes. With me, I've been going to Ghana for. I've been to Ghana at least seven, eight times. Yes. Especially from when I was younger. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, I'm that type of person. Every time I went to Ghana, I would never really post much. Yes. It was more kind of, you know what? I have content over there. I do what I need to necessary. Mm-hmm. And I'll only show you bits and pieces. Mm-hmm. But now from what I see, and I see that I have a responsibility. Yes. Now for me, going to Ghana is going to be different altogether. We want to see. Yes, so I would definitely invite people into, you know, my Ghana experience. Yes, it's please. It's not just Accra, it's not just Kumase. We they go for Tadi, hey. we go Tema, hey. we even go to Sekondi. Hey. We went everywhere. And then remember, there's the northern part of the country too. Oh, the Volta. Oh, don't worry. Of course, we're going to go to the Volta. Ah, okay. If you get to the Volta, you've gotten to me. yes 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 and there's a long history between the akans and the akwemus as well yes we will do history next time but that because you're the blogger you need to go find that out of course research is my thing beautiful that's the power in blogging yes so like i told you off air I got a very uh, a call from a young lady and said, oh, you are interviewing Gio Marfa. I said, ah, yes. He is so smart. And I said, thank you. And oh, wow. That's a yes. Compliment. So, Debbie, thank you. We, It's a beautiful co- uh, compliment, and you know what you are talking about, and he did not disappoint. Shout out to Melanin Kisses. <laughs> Melanin. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> Melanin Kisses. That's right. That's right. Beautiful. So, the next year you're going to Ghana, we'll be getting more content from you from Ghana and here oh, as well. I never put it out there. It's a possibility I can go to Ghana, but you know what? I'm just going to let the viewers stay tuned and who knows. Before you know it, I can just pop in Ghana just like that because you already know I'm Ghana's number one blogger. Hey, I, I said that, dear. For me, D money. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You must have been a cacra. A boy, a lady day to bear me day. Ah, you're Monica Cra. Yes, I see day. The track in the club, meaning with you. I see day. It's cocky. 
It's cocky. Something is cocaine. Uh -huh. mm. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh dear, elbow we're chilling and then a a question I need to ask you before we finish this interview is what is your experience with the African Canadian music industry? Ewahano. Um to to tell you about the African Canadian industry on this side is mm -hmm. I feel like there is a lot of a lot of talented Ghanaians and Africans in the industry, but I just feel like, you know, they're not getting their fair shake in the industry, because you have guys like Remy Ray from Cameroon, mm -hmm. you have guys like AO, mm -hmm. you have guys like Kwame Vista, mm -hmm. that I all know personally, mm -hmm. all the way down to Uzi the Boss, Yes, and it's just like, guys, what's going on? Why aren't you paying attention? I remember even months ago, I don't even think it was months ago, I think it was earlier in the year. Mm -hmm. Ayo and um, Remy Ray came out with a song You They Bust My Brain mm -hmm. And I looked at the song and I'm like This song should be worldwide Because mm -hmm. the, uh, the way this song is hitting yes. Even my head go mash me tire mm -hmm. Like I'm just like Why are they not paying attention to what's going on in Canada Because the African Canadian music scene is huge Even yes. with the people that I even just mentioned yes. Not to even name the rest mm -hmm. There is, I think, honestly, there needs to be even a bigger connection to Africa because I don't understand why even Ghana, they had a year of return. Afrofest actually decided to go down there this year. And yes. I don't, yes, shout out to also Kwasisim Fex. He's out in Ghana. Yes, you yes, know, yes. And I believe right now, especially with the time, I think they've already ended, yes, their Afrofest. Uh, Afrofest is done yes. in Ghana. But um, mm -hmm. I just didn't understand. Why didn't they bring guys out there like Remy Ray, Uzi the Boss, Mm -hmm. I'm a Vista and all these. Because the thing is, you're saying you're Afrofest Toronto. Nothing against them. I'm not trying to step on their feet. Yes. Peter, you know, I love you. But these guys have been killing it from the beginning. Even yeah. guys like Freedom Nadal. Yes. So my thing is, like, you know what? You got to give credit where credit is due. These guys are busting hard. Yes. And they need to get their credit. Mm -hmm. I think it's time. Like, I think, you know, when you look at it overall, I just think from my sense... Their credit is not being due, and they're not being given the platform that they deserve. That's mm -hmm. how I feel about it. But don't get me wrong. There is a lot of talent, yes. African talent in Canada. Yes. And the reason why I can say this is because even if it's not somebody that I'm familiar with, mm -hmm. I'm actually willing to listen to their music. music yeah. Even if I don't understand it, I'll take him aside and be like, you know, just give me the rundown to your music mm -hmm. as to what it is because I feel a feeling. I feel a vibe to it, and yes. I can enjoy it. Okay, so that that means the job falls on you and I to also help spread the word for them. Most definitely, but I think there's one more thing I need to say. I feel like when it comes to the African side of entertainment on mm -hmm. this side, I feel like they don't give their respect to bloggers and journalists. Like, mm -hmm. where's this whole media accreditation from behind? I don't understand why, as to when you look at other cultures, you see that there's media. Why is it that? us we have to force ourselves into there just to promote you mm -hmm. and to me i'm just like it shouldn't be like that there should be a partnership there should be a communication why is it oh you're gonna inbox me a day before a show say oh my brother put up my promo picture for my thing and i'm like brother i've seen your stuff from time why couldn't you come to me as a brother and inbox me even on the whatsapp to put your stuff out there mm -hmm. i have no problem doing it but also Give us the respect as bloggers. Mm -hmm. Give the respect to also photographers. Because understand, if we don't put you out there, how are you going to be on a stage? Okay. That's the way I look at things. Beautiful. Wow. That is some kind of in-depth com conversation that really, really needs to be had. And you, you, you wow. This is the highlight of <laughs> the, the, in the, the this conversation. You've touched on something massive, and I do hope that if they're listening or they tune into Literary Voices, they would also, you know, take in your advice as a blogger where you're coming from and no offense or anything that they can, um, you know, work in partnership with whichever media houses that we do have here trying to support or trying to tell, help them tell their stories and get it out there in the world. 
Ghana's number one blogger. Ghana's number one blogger. Ghana's number one blogger. Bomi D. Mami. Hey, ya bodini. Ghana's number one. One and only. Hey, next time I come a picture where you a video of my chia mesa. Okay, I'm <laughs> But it was funny. It was funny to see myself dancing. It's like... When did this uh, thing uh, start? It was funny. I was actually wearing a kente wrap on yes. my head that day. I did yeah. see you when I was passing. It's all about then. branding. <laughs> <laughs> that Shout one. Out, uh, that one. Mm -hmm. He's actually a content creator in Ghana, and yeah. he's all about the Duku Gang movement. So you do the Duku Gang movement in Ghana, I will spread you in North America because you know that's how we do things. Africa okay. to the world. Okay. Good, 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 good. So before we go, some old um, music from Batman. Oh, from, uh, yeah, oh, KK Fosu featuring Samini, Coco Valley, and um, Fen, so Suje. Yeah, because I believe there used to be a group back in the day. They I used think to they're going to come back. Yeah. Just so you know, everybody, they're coming back. They're coming back. Hey, our, our, our own music journalists has told us they're coming back. So we'll be looking forward to them. Viewers, there's yes. a revolution. Yes. Revolution plus evolution. Mm -hmm. Ah, And 2020, it will definitely be televised. It is. It will be televised. Pepper them 2020. Listeners, you've been tuned into Literary Voices. I've been your host, Nana Yayabua, and with my Ghana's number one blogger. Bumidi Mame. Amen. See you next time.